Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. The latest 8th gen Lenovo Legion gaming laptops are here. This year, we have the new Lenovo LA AI chip, the world's first dedicated AI chip on a gaming laptop. A brand new design for the chassis, not to mention Intel's higher-end HX series mobile processors, a huge bump in performance compared to the previous gen. Well, for the GPU, NVIDIA has released RTX 40 series mobile GPUs, ranging from the top RTX 4090 down to RTX 4050. So exactly how powerful are the RTX 40 series? What about the game performance on the new platform? We will find out all you need to know and pick out the best one for your needs. So before we start playing the game, first, let's check out these five GPU core specs. As you can see, RTX 4090 CUDA cores are 9728, and down to 4050, they are only 2560. So you know, more CUDA cores increase parallelism, and so GPUs can handle more threats at a time. In this case, RTX 4070 is barely half of 4090. 4060 is one third of it. And also, the GPU memory bandwidth decreases. I gotta say, this can be quite confusing when choosing the right graphic cards. To test for real, we run 3D Mark Time Spy and Fire Strike Extreme on these five machines. In the real test, based on RTX 4090 graphics score, we converted the score of other cards into percentages to get the following comparison results. For better comparison, we also added RTX 30 series benchmark scores. You can see both 4090 and 4080 can easily crash the 3080 Ti from last gen. And for RTX 4060, it's basically the same as the previous generation 3070. And 4050 is about 11% ahead of the 3060. On DirectX 11 FSE, we also get the similar results. After joining these three tables, we can see that the theoretical performance of five graphic cards is not exactly proportional to the number of CUDA cores they have. So literally, the memory bitwidth didn't affect the performance of the graphic cards. In fact, we often get comments like this. Will this laptop run Cyberpunk 2077 well? Can I play CSGO with over 1400 FPS? Let's find it out in the game. Considering Legion series have 2.5K high resolution, high refresh rate, and wide color gamut, we chose the default resolution for the highest quality of the game. First off, let's see how Legion Pro 7 4090 and 4080 perform in the game. Well, with 2.5K and highest reset on, 4090 is getting absolutely supreme results. Even the high-end desktop graphic card 3090 Ti was less than 100 FPS at the same settings. Apart from the high FPS, performance stability is also crucial to your gaming experience. In the real tests, Legion Pro 7 scored 99% at 3D Mark Time Spy stress test. Credit goes to the newly upgraded Legion Cold Front 5.0 Thermal Module. The improved fan system with 3D blades as thin as 0.1mm increases overall air volume by up to 24.6%. Liquid metal enhances heat transfer from the CPU. With optional vapor chamber technology for both CPU and GPU and hybrid heat pipe technology, this ensures that you can play sweaty while your laptop stays cool, effectively avoid FPS drops and CPU speed drops. And while we're here, let's check out Legion Pro 5 and Legion Slim 5. In Cyberpunk 2077, with 2.5K DLSS frame generation at highest ray tracing settings, Legion Pro 5 4070 achieves an average FPS of 80.7. Legion Slim 5 62 FPS, compared to 63 FPS of Legion Pro 7 2022 RTX 3070 Ti, the 4070 is getting ahead by 22%. The 4060 is almost even. The overall improvement brought by the 5 nanometer TSMC 4M process, combined with DLSS3 frame generation, is definitely good news for all the game players. We also tested the performance of three machines in RDR2 and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now, I got a question for you. Which do you prefer when gaming? A higher resolution or higher frame rate? Leave your comments below. Personally, I'll go for higher resolution, better visual experience. And no matter which one you pick, Legion series meet both your needs. 
2.5K high resolution up to 240Hz high refresh rate, while 100% sRGB combined with HDR400, Dolby Vision, and G-Sync. You are able to be fully immersed into a spectacular gaming world with rapid response in shooting games. Speaking of competitive games, we tested CSGO, which recently hit a new high in daily active users. As you can see from the test results, both Legion Pro 7 4090 and Pro 5 4050 easily run over 450 FPS at 2K resolution. Compared with the mainstream 1080p or 960p in-game resolution, the actual FPS will be higher. 240Hz high refresh rate with 3 milliseconds high response time on the Legion Pro 5. I feel like I was much closer to Candy S. And of course, in addition to CSGO, we also tested the mainstream competitive online games. You can check out your favorite game score through the table. So what do you think of this year's Legion series, whether it's the 13th gen Intel Core Processors HX series with 55W TDP, RTX 40 series DLSS3, or memory frequency, hard disk capacity, read and write speed upgrade, as well as the consistently excellent screen and cooling system. From i9 to i5, from 4090 to 4050, Legion series maximizes spice options that best suit for players need. If you want a top of the line machine that can handle any game, the Lomo Legion is a great choice. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.